What's up YouTube? We've got an exciting project today. We're going to design, paint, and build this birdhouse. <laughs> Just kidding. This is my wife's project. Welcome back YouTube. Episode 5, about to go down. If you're new to the channel, we have widened the rear fender, installed this larger rear tire, a billet swing arm, a chain, everything is super close. Now, next step is put this front wheel on. The wheel is too wide at this point to put on this front end. Front end needs to be pulled off, cut, widened, and then we can reinstall it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, you gotta make sure you do it. Flying jump kick, cannonball, onto the subscribe button. Actually, you know, well maybe not damage your phone doing it, but maybe just tap the subscribe button. One of the things I always struggle with uh, is intro music for these. I figure this time I'm just going to make my own. Alright, so I'm just going to start pulling this rack off. I'll, I'll get the headlight off. All of this, uh, all the components. Just basically I need to get the front end off. That way I can uh, start working on this front wheel. I'm super excited about this, by the way. I had to flip the bike around. I'm just jacking up my cinematics. Pull this sucker off of here. Now I've never done this before, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna kind of work at it. So I'm gonna start by pulling this rack off here. smart car taking apart the motor got it all the way down to the block I decided to take a break work on the uh, street cub so I've got most of this uh, loose everything's loose looks gonna look like I'm gonna have to take this top cover off and then the spanner nut on top and then the front end will slide down if you notice here there's there's this uh, big beam it's hollow goes through that holds the, uh, the two halves together and then you can unscrew them right up here, it looks like. I could be wrong. Like I said, I've never done this. Looks like that. I've got this spanner nut down there. I can't get to. I, I, I have a, a tool at the shop. I'm going to have to go get that. All right. Day two, episode five. I got, I, I got a tool finally for this. And I already loosened it. I loosened it with this guy. Um, you know, I only, I just came out here briefly to do this and I actually got it loose, loosened, which I didn't think I was actually gonna, cause it's not like the perfect fit socket. I'll show you what it looks like when I unscrewed it. I haven't actually unscrewed it all the way. Not ideal, got the lights set up. Got white pants on, working on, out in the garage, not a good combo, but here we go. So this is the first time I'm unscrewing this and I'll show you what I did. I looked on Amazon and eBay and everywhere for this tool. I couldn't find it. There. So I had one that was pretty dang close. And to be honest with you, I kind of hammered down on it just to get it off, which it actually is pretty dang close. So I'm glad I got that off finally. Now, let's see if I can remove that front end. So this thing comes off in like pieces. So you got that piece, and this piece, and then you have this guy that's attached to the handlebars. So I've been doing that, and also there's a screw that holds to that to the front end there. I'm gonna doing that. All right, so I got that one off, that guy off. Now there's a nut here. Jesus, I'll probably just hit that honestly with a uh, with a uh, hammer and a screwdriver to get it loose. I'll do that right now. All right, so I tapped it once, pretty light. Now I'm able to unscrew it. Think about this. This thing has probably not been. Uh, Unscrewed since 1982. 
Unless it's been serviced or something like that. This son of a gun. Touch my white pants. That's why you don't wear white pants working in the garage. I honestly didn't even know I was gonna do this. <laughs> my bad. I'll get Tia to, you know, wash and scrub it, I think. Damn, I've unthreaded this. There's like 280,000 threads. Here's that. And there's our race with uh, 14 trillion year old grease. And then see all those bearings? They're gonna fall and go everywhere. They're just, that's the old school way of doing things. I wish I had a magnet to grab those. I don't have a magnet here. But now all I need to do is lift the front end up and then it'll slide right out the bottom. These uh, little ball bearings are gonna go everywhere. I know they are. Check this out. I magnified this, uh, this guy too, the little tool. Hilarious. I have some, a few more. Okay. Got him. Yeah! Got it. Yeah. There's still a bunch of uh, bearings stuck there, so you can just like grab them and pull them off. Oh hell. Can't pull the cable out until I get the front fender off, which I don't want on there anyway. Um, might as well pull the uh, front axle off. Pull that axle off. So I got these loose. Now I just have that one to take off so I can get this fender off of there. We can get the fender out of there, I think. Now we can slide our cable through. Here's the dilemma. This is the whole reason why this front end is off this street cub and this wheel needs to go on this street cub. See how wide this uh, tire is? And see how wide the front end is? That doesn't work. You need to go slightly larger. But you can imagine how sweet this is gonna look once it's done. By the way, again, stock hub, everything's stock. We'll just have to put some spacers in here so that this works out. What I need to do, you see this piece here that's attached? That needs to be cut. That needs to be cut right there. And then this guy too also needs to be cut. And then I need to add a piece to widen it. I don't even know how much I need to widen it. I need to do the measurements. First thing I'll do is cut it down the middle. That way I can put that front wheel in there. Look at this uh, weld job. It's not the greatest. You can see like little like splatter and stuff. That's Honda's job. This is uh, original Honda. And you look, look back in there. You can see one of the welding rods right there. Pretty classic. I wanted to go over something really quick. This front end is a pretty unique front end being that inside here you can see the shocks run inside of these tubes. So like here's one of the uh, the mounting bolts for the inside and at the other end you've got that mounting bolt. So there's just a shock in there. I know some of the older models they had the shock on the outside. It's a pretty cool, I, I just love this color too. Kind of want to be careful with it a little bit. I don't want to scratch it up because I like that uh, kind of crazy the retro color with it slightly aged. You know, it's got some slight, this kind of stuff. So patina. What's up YouTube? I bought this thing real cheap, already stretched.